It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and Catherine, and we're here at the Wicked Spoon Buffet at the Cosmopolitan. The buffet is open, and it is now self-serve. So let's go see what there is to eat. All right, let's start with the meat. Here's the meat station. I don't want to miss the fried chicken. Let's definitely start with one of these. Oh, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there a prime rib? That's the prime rib? And that's, that says beef sirloin. Is there a beef sirloin? Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, all right, let's get some chicken. I really want to try, oh, we already have the fried chicken. Yes. Maybe I'll try the sausages. Yeah. Little self-serve, look at that, grabbing it with my own hands. Get some sausage. There we go. Of course. Thank you. Here's about the there miso ginger rotisserie chicken. Can you get me a piece of oh, that? Oh, yes. Looks like those are all right. thighs. Yep. Two. That one. That, that looks new. Good yeah. Pizza. Thank you. So that's miso ginger rotisserie chicken and some Italian rope sausage. Oh, there's a citrus brine turkey breast back mm -hmm. there. I'll have to come back for that. Yeah. Oh, there's your favorite yes. bone marrow. Can you, can you please get me some bone marrow? Yes. Thank you. This one looks like it's full of whatever marrow is. <laughs> Thank you. They have quite a lot of salads over here. They have wedge salad, a Caesar salad, and this is a guacamole, which leads me to believe that there's probably some sort of chips. Uh, and there they are, right here. Some corn tortilla chips in a bag. They've also got this beef tataki with a duck egg and wasabi ginger ponzu. Well, I am curious about that for you to try. Okay. Well, I, I actually did want that. <laughs> okay, there you go. And there's a banh mi salad. Oh, I remember these from last time we were here. Pork the birria. pork birria taco. I think they had these. Didn't they have these? They had they some had like sort of... Pork, they had like a carnitas taco. A carnitas taco? Okay, well, this is going to be even better, I hope, because yes. those were pretty amazing yes. before. And they have a beef and lamb gyro. Gyro. <laughs> Always mess that one up. Let me put that over here next to my fried chicken. Okay. Yeah, how you doing? All right with those. Uh... Okay. There's a kale salad. You know, I do need my greens. I think I will get one of these. This is it. Not, not that. <laughs> I think that's just decoration. <laughs> Let me put that. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Right here on the meat. Yeah, I guess we better get back to our table, and then we'll we'll see what else there is to eat. All right, so we got our first plates. What do you want to try first? Yeah, I'm going to try the miso ginger rotisserie chicken first, because I don't recall seeing this, and it looks really good. I, I like chicken thighs, so this is a thigh. Here to see what it tastes like. What are you going to try first? This one, the birria taco. Ooh, birria I remember taco. how much I love that carnitas taco yeah. last time. Okay, here we go. Okay. How's that? Juicy and fatty <laughs> and porky. Everything I want in a taco. How's that? This is tasty. That looks juicy mm -hmm. too. Thighs are usually like a lot more juicy, more fatty. So I tend to like them with the flavor. But the miso ginger, that's mm -hmm. a, I've never really seen that in a rotisserie. Like chicken, like a pout spice blend. That's good. It's, it's really juicy and tender. It's, it's just falling right off. It's great. It's really, I like this a lot. I don't recall ever seeing this, do you? No, but they've had rotisserie type chicken here uh, in various flavors, and I guess it's the latest yeah, flavor. It's, good. it's always good. It's actually. They used to have like a jerk chicken That's that a, looked like yeah. that. It was really good. It was yeah. like one of my favorites next to the fried chicken. This is the, the wicked fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I gotta go to that next. Yeah. <laughs> mm. How is it? Perfect. <laughs> this might be like my favorite thing on this buffet. Really? It's consistent, I will say that. I mean, I do love fried chicken. Yeah, he does. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is really good. I, I always, that's right, I remember the jerk chicken here. This is must be new. This is very good. Miso ginger. Asian flavors. Yeah. This used to be spicy. That's why I think it used to be called, it still is called Wicked Fried Chicken. Yeah, yeah. It took away the spice, which is perfect for me. <laughs> it just tastes like fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, I, I, I'm actually quite curious about this. I think this is the same kale salad that they used to have that I really like, because I think I see some cranberries or something in there. This is actually a really good salad. It's the same one I had before, so... I'm going to go with that one next. What are you going to go for next? I'm going to go for the exact opposite. I'm going to go for the beef tataki. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Which is like a, almost like a beef tartare a bit. A little bit yeah, it looks rare. a little underdone to me. Oh, <laughs> rare. This is good. I can't tell if it's the exact same salad as before, but it's definitely dark, dark greens. <laughs> it's got to be the healthiest thing I'm probably going to eat on this buffet. Uh, it's delicious. Yeah. Mm. The beef tataki was really good. There's only two small slices, so uh, it, it just just enough of a bite to get a really good flavor. But you taste the beef. I like the radish with it because the radish kind of gives a bit of a, a tartness, like a bite to balance it out. It's really nice, and I also like the sauce too. That's good. You know, this this prime rib looks a little rare for me. You want to try that first? I actually have. So let me show you. Okay. So here, this is a little more rare than I usually like my my meat, but this part here, this this edge is definitely cooked more, and this I think has a better flavor than the actual center part of the beef. Yeah, you know, I like have, yours even looks even better. Yeah, I have the so, same like the yeah. outer edge of the prime rib, and I have this interior here. And this is an all-you-can-eat buffet, so if you wanted to, I guess you could just eat that part. I could. <laughs> Maybe you could get, find someone to eat, give that to you to eat. Well, I will try this part here. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I like this part more than that. That's about the doneness I like of my meat. <laughs> There's my part of the prime rib. That's great. And the other great part about that is that, you know, the edge of the part I like is right there where it has all that char on the outside. How's yours? It's good. I like the, the interior part's good. It's a, I like the outside part a little, little bit more because I also like that char. I also like that char. Because I'm going to eat that outside part too. Now, I am going to eat the inside part too, of course. But... <laughs> It's, actually, actually it's more tender than I thought. Yeah, that's the thing. It is more tender. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to try the outside part now. Mm. It's good, right? It is good. Yeah. It's like two different flavors. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's actually, it's good all the way through. Yeah. All right, I still have, I have this. And of course, I still have my fried, one fried chicken, and there is some sausage. Right. You know, the pork sausage. I have to try and that, too. You've got too. some bone marrow. I do have some bone marrow with a pickled onions and a gremolata on top. Here's a big bite of bone marrow. Oh, my God. That looks terrible. <laughs> I'm about to eat it. I'm not a fan of bone marrow. It looks like a giant wad of fat. The onions and the gremolata help to lighten it up and balance it. <laughs> I mean, I know. People love it. You love it. Very good. And you can get it here at the Wicked Spoon. Good. <laughs> I, I'll stick with this gyro, gyro meat. <laughs> I'm going to try the pork sausage now. This is Italian pork. Mm -hmm. What is it called? Italian pork rope sausage? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's described as? You have it too. Okay. We'll both try. That's how I like sausage. It's not spicy. No, mm. but it has those really great flavors of like, 
an Italian restaurant, you know, yeah. like a red sauce. Right? Like I want a red sauce for that yeah. sausage and some I really, spaghetti. I really like the seasoning. This is really good. And it's a mild, it's very mild, but it's very flavorful. Mm -hmm. All right, now there is Asian food down this away. There's also crab legs. Should we get a few of those? Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Can you load some up for me? Um, yes. I'll hold the plates. Thank you. Yep. Look at that. That's, that is like, this one's all stuck together. That's a, that should be yeah, good to start good. with. Can you also give a cut yes. Of Thank you. Look at this. Ooh. I see some big shrimp. Is that my shrimp? Salt and pepper head on shrimp. I think these are the ones you like. I love I, these. I'm not even sure. Are these the crispy ones you had before? You these are larger. Over? These are larger. That's what I thought. I'm not, oh. Yeah, these may... It looks like they're mixing they're, up the menu here, yeah. which is good. Let me get these some of these, these two for myself. These are huge. Oh, please get me like two more. Okay. So these are much bigger than the original salt and pepper. Yeah. I'll get a few more myself. And this is a soy caramel duck wings. I'll think about that. And then looks like some dim sum baskets back here. Pork riblets. And a chashu bao. I think I want to try one of these. I always like these type of okay. Chinese buns. Yeah, we love these. Might as well try the pork riblets. I don't think I remember these from before. Do you remember these? I don't. That's. Do you yeah. want to try any of those on your plate? No, I'm or? okay. I'm really okay. excited about the head on chicken. Yeah, we got some good looking plates here yeah. already. So they've got the uh, Hokkien udon noodles, some paneer tikka masala. Yeah. And this is crispy garlic with eggplants and coconut cream. That's Actually, new. yeah, That's that is new. new too. I definitely want to try that. I'll try this right now. There's space for me on there. Maybe right there. <laughs> All right. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> I know, me too. Well, let's try it. Okay. This. This first of all, it's hot. It's it freshly hot. fried, yeah. and there's eyeballs. I love it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna peel mine. I'm eating it just like this, <laughs> okay. head to tail. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Got our crab yeah. crackers there. Yeah. No peeling for me. I'm eating it just as is. A bit too good. Okay. I will say these are big. I am really surprised There's at how big they are. All the, all the meat out there, the shrimp right. meat. Like, I can imagine, again, like how big this is uncooked if it's this large. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, it's really big. Like, look at the size of my hand. I mean, I guess all the salt and pepper flavor is on the outside on the shell, but maybe there's a little bit still in here now that it's peeled. I mean, that is, that is totally a big shrimp. I mean, yours looks even bigger. I still has the head. Because it still has everything on it. Yeah. That is plenty of meat inside. I mean, look at it in my hand right there. Mm. Mm. What do you think? That still has plenty of flavor. Mm. It's it's super like succulent. What about yours? The head was great. <laughs> I'm okay. working my way down through the tail. Here we go. Mm. There's so many like legs and feet to take off of this. Maybe I should just eat a whole like that, but you then I but then I'd be eating the legs and feet. Like me. And the head. Two. And the tail. <laughs> mm. This is super good. I mean, mm. you're gonna get your fingers messy, but that's that's the choice you make. That's true. My fingers are messy too, but oh, yeah. I'm just eating the whole thing. Again, head to tail. Eyes, legs, and all. It is delicious. <laughs> this is delicious too. <laughs> A little shell in them. I think I got a foot too. All right, I am super curious about this eggplant. This is eggplant and a coconut cream. Uh, with garlic. The eggplant is super light and, and like tender. That's good. I have riblets. I have pork oh riblets here. I almost forgot about these. I'm going to try these. 
I have some crab here. Oh, there, I have some butter to go with my crab too. Okay, there's bones in there, so I gotta be careful of those yes. riblet yeah. bones. I mean, they're riblets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely be careful with that. Mm. And that's good. It's, um, it's definitely like a, a rib, rib flavor. And super crispy, because it's like just a little just bits of fried. I think it's a like, almost two cases of their fried. Oh, nice. I didn't get the pork riblets. So I was too busy considering on the crab and shrimp. And now I'm gonna have some of the crab with the butter. Without the butter, I think it's very sweet. The meat is very sweet. But... That was a nice big piece. Mm -hmm. All right, now there is more food here. They've got pizza. This is a soprasata pizza. Over here, there's a duca spiced salmon. Actually, I remember I had that last time. That was one of my favorites. What, what is the last and there's one lone eggs benedict right there. It says... Canadian bacon, poached eggs, and hollandaise. Do you want it? <laughs> oh wait, there's still more to <laughs> look at. We might wait for the fresh batch. Yeah. I definitely uh, want to try this pizza. And do you want any of the pizza? I don't know right now. Thank okay. You. Well, there's more. Oh my God, there is spaghetti here. It's bucatini. Ooh. This is what I should have put the sausage in. That's exactly Ooh. what I was craving. There's also, what does this say? Charred okra. Charred okra, yeah, I don't remember that. No. And then, did you want any of these things so far? Oh, the Cajun shrimp and grits. Oh, oh. shrimp and grits. I'm gonna try some of the charred okra, because I've That's never seen this idea. before. Would you like some? No, <laughs> but I would like some shrimp and grits. Would you like that? I'm gonna get some bucatini. Oh, okay, yeah, you can try the bucatini. You want any bucatini? Not right now. I, I should have had it with my... Italian sausage, that would have been perfect. Had we known. But now we know. So that's the tip. You come here, yeah. get the bucatini and the Italian rope sausage. Yeah. You're in for a, a treat. You know, I'm going to get the extra Oh, you are going to get? Okay, yeah. It's hard to resist the shrimp and grits. That, that one's missing a shrimp. Maybe somebody. I think someone I mean, took the shrimp. You, you, can, you can use your hands here. Yeah, we're using our to hands. To get the items, but you really shouldn't just take the shrimp. No. <laughs> out of the shrimp I'm and grits. Still advised. Agent It does look good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh. This is really tasty. Yeah. Super creamy. That sauce is nice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bits are very creamy. Oh, this is a rec highly recommended mm -hmm. sauce. A little bit of Cajun spice. Yeah. Not overwhelming at all. Mostly just delicious, creamy grits. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. shrimp. Mm. Mm. Now this is the fish I liked last time. I think. It looks like it. It's like they change things up here, yeah. you know, quite a bit. But kind of all in the same style. Like they might substitute out the type of fish or something. I can't remember if this was salmon I had last time, but it looked, it looked like this. <laughs> I'm gonna try the charred okra. Okay. Mm. Yeah. How is that? That smells a bit of a kick. I forgot to see what kind of seasoning there is in it. Oh, yeah? It's kind of spicy. I mean, it has that signature. Sliminess. Yeah, I was just okra. gonna ask you if there was the sliminess. Yeah, because yeah, it's there. I mean, it's it's split open. It definitely has a. That, can I try one? Yes, you can. But you'll get a kick out of it. Like it's not like. You'll get a kick out of you'll it. You'll get a kick like a heat kick. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. That's actually good. Yeah. And then, oh, there's the spice. See, I told you. Kind of comes in real slow. Yeah. It must be the, the sliminess that slows it down. Yeah. That's good. No, actually. it's good. It's good. I yeah. Usually I don't get okra. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna try it here. And it's like a, a good rule of thumb is like if I'm not gonna make it at home, I should try it somewhere else. Right? And I have a tiny piece of pizza. I don't know if you can see how tiny this is. It looks bigger on the buffet. It probably looks bigger when I hold it close to the camera. Why don't you put it in your hand? I'll see how yeah. This is actually how big it is. It's 
Yeah. So but you can get more. It's you all can you get can more. eat. So. Okay. I'm gonna try the bucatini while you try it. Remember that bucatini shortage of 2020? What a time. That was it. That's good. That's very good. Is it still frisada? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's thin crust. That's the way I like it. Mm. The sauce has a bit of a kick too. Peppery kick. It's not just a plain tomato sauce. Oh, oh. Yeah, that has way more heat than I thought it would. Way wow. more heat. Do you want to try it? No. <laughs> now this is brunch here at the Wicked Spoon where they've got pancakes and French toast and other dessert uh, breakfast, breakfast items. They have plenty of dessert over on the dessert area. And this, but this is like the sweet breakfast brunch stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get some of this. Can you give me a pancake over there? How many would you like? Uh, just a, like two. Two. Okay. These are buttermilk pancakes. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna get two for myself as well as some French toast. There's some syrup here on the side. Great. Would you like one? Yes, please. All you right. Some French toast. Yes. Get some French toast. It says uh, French toast with berry compote and lemon curd. All right. Well, let's go down this way and see if there's any other breakfast oh, yeah. brunch yeah. type, you know, sweet brunch foods. Oh, bacon? Okay. Salty breakfast brunch foods. Yeah, I think they used to have it over here. Now, oh, there's mashed potatoes. I should have gotten some of those. Charred broccolini fava and some beans. fava beans and peas and pea tendrils. That sounds really good. Yeah, that sounds pretty healthy. It's it certainly does. very green. Oh, oh yeah, look, here's the omelet station where they're making fresh omelets to order. Those look really good. There's the makings of the omelet station that you can choose from. And there's the bacon. I see that. Applewood smoked bacon. Yes, please. Bacon. Yes, that sounds good. That's plenty. Maybe, maybe that's enough for us to share. Or you can okay, get your own bacon. Own. <laughs> okay. And they do have a few breakfast things down around the corner here. There's the egg salad toast. I actually had that before. It's very good. Surprisingly good. Yeah, like an avocado toast. Okay. And down around here, they actually have a Nutella toast. Which I've also had, and it is excellent. They also have some soups. This says tomato basil and wicked clam chowder. You want to lift the lids and see if that's really what's in there? Sometimes they had like oatmeal and stuff in there. But yeah, that looks like clam chowder. And then, is that... Tomato basil. Wow, that does look good if you like soup. They got some banana bread. Seasonal fruit, which apparently apples are in season. They've got shrimp cocktail. More fruit here. It looks like it's honeydew, cantaloupe. Yeah, honeydew and cantaloupe. I swear that looks like watermelon, but it says tuna, tuna crudo. I love this. I think we had that We've last had time, and it was like it was it was it was really good, but very surprising. Tuna crudo, blood orange reduction. Bee pollen, pistachio, and basil. All right, you I have to get, get one of those. And an assorted cheese plate. All right, we got buttermilk pancakes and some French toast. Mm -hmm. The berry compote with the French toast. Mm. A pancake. I know. You like that? I do. It's good. You like they're light mm -hmm. and like fluffy. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. They taste really buttery. You know, like usually there's butter served on the side, but didn't need it. Super buttery. Yeah. I've always liked the French toast here. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. And again, it's a little bit different style. It has a berry compote on it this time. Right. Let's try this. Ooh, that's a good face. How is it? A little crispy from being grilled. Mm. Super soft on the inside. Mm. Mm. 
Well, these pancakes really surprised me. I know. They're super good. I think the thing with French toast is like you want a fluffy, creamy inside, but you also want like a nice texture on the outside. Mm -hmm. And this one has both, mm -hmm. which is surprising. But the pancakes are really good. The pancakes mm -hmm. are like pure fluffiness. So mm -hmm. if you just want that, mm -hmm. get the pancakes. Mm -hmm. So this is the tuna crudo. I swear, it looks like watermelon. Mm -hmm. Right? I know. That's just like watermelon. It looks like an 8 bit heart. I think that's cute. <laughs> it does. It's a, again a blood orange reduction, bee pollen, and pistachios, I believe. Not oh. bad. Get some sauce. Good. It's good. It's cold, very cold, which is good because it's like raw. It confuses my tongue though because I'm expecting it to be watermelon. Yeah. Because it's cold like that. Yeah. And it has that orangey uh, flavor that kind of is like a fruit flavor. Yeah, so. yeah. But then it's fish. <laughs> and you still have some avocado toast, right? With yeah. eggs? It's like some kind of whole grain. avocado, bread. whole grain. Let's give this a try. I liked it when we were here last time, mm -hmm. or one of the times we were here. Like you really liked it. it We've fun. been here a lot. We've had mm -hmm. so many different foods here over yeah. the years of the Wicked Spoon. Mm -hmm. We're just, I'm so happy that they're back open, and yeah. it's its self-serve. You can just grab everything with your hands. Yeah. I mean, it, was, it, was, it wasn't bad the way they had it for a while. No. When, you know, at least the Wicked Spoon was open, one of the few buffets. Yeah. Really the only strip buffet that was open for a while. Right. Until now. Right. They, they made a lot of changes and pivoted. They pivoted a lot, and now they're kind of back to the original yeah. setup. I think they're always, always pretty consistent here. It's always fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's even more meat over here. Hello, Hello. how are, how are you? you? All this meat looks so good. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate it. So we got, uh, is one of these the beef sirloin? Yes, we have the beef sirloin here. Oh, the can I? Red and the pork shoulder here. Oh, pork shoulder, okay. Uh, could I try some sirloin? Sirloin? Yes. You want, would you like to try the sirloin? Yes, please. I only like a, a rare or medium rare. Uh, I like it more on the well side. So. Okay, no problem. I can do that. Great. Alright. Let me uh, give you a new uh, piece slice here. I'm going to just uh, give a, a nice uh, char grill. Okay, great. And that will give an extra flavor on it. Thank oh. you. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Right on the grill back there. Okay. And what's it for you? Oh uh, boy. What would you like? Yeah, I love this, how the, yes, are these like the ends? ends no, meat? these are the ends. Uh, these are the uh, a pretty hen over there. And you want to try the pork? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll try the pork. It becomes like, it, when you stay there, it becomes like a kind of burnt end. Yeah. Yeah, people yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try it, but there's the burnt end. You and also some, right oh, yes. wow, yeah. okay. And I'll try the pork shoulder too, please. Yeah. Perfect. Thank My you. Pleasure. That's wow. great. That yeah, a little bit of pork shoulder, please. Thank you. Thank you. So, will you finish off a piece of meat on the grill? If, uh, uh, it it depends. We have we cook as a medium rare, rare to medium rare. And if somebody like a well done, we just uh, we have the grill to cook on it. Oh, okay. great. Well, that's great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And anything I can get on this place? I no, think we're I'm good. Here. Some of the prime rib or just uh, No, uh, I think just the just the one on the grill will be good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's definitely looking pretty rare. <laughs> All right. Getting it off the grill now. There we go. Now that is looking pretty well done yeah. over there. I see it smoking. That's going to be good. It is going to be good. Pretty good. Yeah. Food is great. Not bad at all. We're so happy to be back. Oh, I know. We're so happy you guys were back. Medium rare, absolutely. I have a nice slice of medium rare right here. Do you like the two slices or just one? Just one slice. Just one slice. We'll do prime rare. Absolutely. Do you like the crazy? Oh, my pleasure. Oh, here you go. All right. 
at our well done Hot sirloin. <laughs> oh, perfect. Wonderful. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now I've got to get some mashed potatoes yes, to go with that because that is the perfect accompaniment. Actually, you know, we should try some of these yeah, too. Yeah, I would love to try some. This of is that. very intriguing. Before it has, it's fava beans, and peas, and pea tendrils. Could you put a little? I'm gonna on try that. Yes, please. And then my mashed potatoes over here. You want some too? Yeah, you can get me a few of those pea tendrils. Yeah. And I'm going to get these mashed potatoes. There we go. Would you like some mashed potatoes? Yes, please. Is it a Great, thank you. Perfect. All right, this is my sirloin well done, cooked to order. That is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And you've got yourself. Burnt ends. Burnt gave, ends. Right. The burnt ends from the sirloin here. And some and pork shoulder. Pork shoulder. Yeah. I'm going to try the burnt end. Yes. I got my well done sirloin. It actually looks really good that to looks me. Really good. That looks really good. <laughs> got my little crispy end here. That looks so good. It's really good. It's really flavorful. Like the burnt ends are always so tasty. Mm. They even kind of cut them and put them to the side. So if you request them, they'll be ready to go. How is that? It's great. I mean, just that extra char flavor that, mm. you know, from having it cooked off fresh right there after mm. you sliced it. I mean, this is like, it's almost like, a, you know, something that tastes like off of a backyard barbecue, like fresh off that grill. I think it's that time. It's dessert time. The Wicked Spoon has always had some of the best desserts of any of the Las Vegas buffets, including their gelato. They have some really interesting flavors, too, like Thai tea. They have so many different desserts as well. This looks like some coconut panna cotta. I'm going to get that. All right. Chocolate cupcakes. Raspberry buttercream. Yeah, chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. Strawberry lychee mousse cake. And then a white chocolate mousse cake with passion fruit and mango. And a raspberry squirrel cheesecake. Yes. Can you get me this one here called the Zenith? Okay. That's what? the white chocolate mousse with passion fruit and mango. God, there you go. I just like the name. <laughs> Zenith. Isn't that like a, is that a TV brand? It's a little TV brand, yeah. yes. <laughs> okay. Apple turnovers. Oh, Ooh, love I love these chocolate covered strawberries. Raspberry lime tour. Can you get me that one? Of course. Thank you. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. And the gelato. There's the Thai tea gelato right there. Pistachio and chocolate. I think I'm going to try Thank this. You. Can I get the salted peanut caramel? I've never tried that one before. I always usually stick to my favorites, which is vanilla and strawberry. But this one just looks so good. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. That looks good. All right, well, I want to start with my Zenith. Because <laughs> he likes the name. After the TV. <laughs> what are you going to start with? Did you have a Zenith? No, I always had a Sony. You might have had a Zenith. Yeah, I'm going to try the strawberry. Here's my Zenith. Thank you so much, Ross. Because I, like, you were like, no, mm. I can't possibly. Like, mm. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Ross. Yeah, mm. no problem. It's a very ripe strawberry. Yeah, they're always great. Mm -hmm. And this is like a super bright flavor. Oh, good. Like bright, like color TV. <laughs> just like the name. So this is the raspberry cheesecake, and it's just the right amount of cheesecake for me. It's just, it's a good bite. It's a really good tasting cheesecake, too. Yeah. I just had a bite, <laughs> and it is just enough. It's just it's enough. Perfect finish. 
So the Wicked Spoon Buffet here at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. These desserts are just the perfect finish to the all-you-can-eat experience here at the Wicked Spoon Buffet. And, and we're just so happy that they're back. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Wicked Spoon Buffet. And be sure to subscribe for more because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.